everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue, and we're going to be knocking out some enchiladas here. And these are going to be pretty damn close to authentic enchiladas from the sauce everything. The only thing that's not going to be homemade is the tortillas. If you can knock those out, more power to you. So anyway, what I'm starting with is a pot of water. It's just on a simmer. I have 10, uh, 10 peppers. These I get at my local Hispanic market, hot, hatch, red chili pepper. So I'm going to add these to the water. Now I already have these things cut in half and de-seeded. I did set aside the seeds for later because I'm not going to waste that. So I'm going to get these chilies in there. I also have about four. Well, I have four. Uh, red jalapenos just to kick up the heat in case these aren't hot enough. They said they're extra hot, but sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven garlic cloves, and I'm going to be adding that a little bit later. So this should cook about an hour, about 40 minutes into it. I have some onions here, so I have three onions that are halved, and then I have them kind of cut into chunks like that. I'm going to add that in in about 45 minutes to this water along with this garlic. These, this onion and a half here, I'm going to have chopped up and I'm going to add that to my meat which this here is some meat from an old uh, cook I had. These were some uh, beef ribs that are left over so I boiled those down, took the bones off, took all the fat off of it and shredded it so that's going to be what we're going to fill this with. So anyway, we're going to let this go about 45 minutes. We're going to add these onions and then the garlic to it at that point and then you know other ingredients we're going to be using later on is just going to be some regular table salt. Nothing kosher on this and some cumin and then I got some uh, chicken stock in here somewhere and we're going to be uh, doing that but that's going to finish it up. The main thing now is getting these peppers cooked down and uh, ready to get blended so we'll pick it up. You know I'm not even going to show you the add to the onions because just remember if you're doing this recipe 45 minutes in add the onions, add the garlic and then we'll pick it up right before I start straining it. So we'll see you back then. We're back to these peppers that have been steaming down, kind of boiling in this pot. Here's my other onion and a half and my garlic cloves. I'm going to go ahead and add those. Oops, got a little water in that. So anyway, that's going to go another 15 minutes. While that's going, I'm going to get Here's another onion and a half. I got a little thin layer of oil down in there. So I'm going to cook this down a little bit. I got my meat. Now you could use whatever kind of meat you want. You know, you could use ground beef, ground turkey, ground pork, you can use shredded chicken, whatever you want. I'm using ribs I had left over that I had uh, barbecued and then I just cooked them down and uh, shredded them out. So I'm adding that in. Then I have the seeds that were left over from the peppers that I have in there. I just like So anyway, I'm going to get this stuff kind of stirred in and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, canola oil just to add a little bit more kind of uh, fat into this since a lot of that got cooked out when I was uh, boiling those earlier. So we got that. That's gonna, this is probably going to take about 15 minutes to cook down. About the amount of time it's going to take for these to... Uh, get cooked where I want them. So when we come back, 
it's going to be time to pull these peppers and onions and everything out of that and uh, get it ready to get blended up and uh, turned into the actual enchilada sauce. So we'll see you back then. Right, so we have these peppers. They've been cooking for a little over an hour. I let them cool down a bit. And I drained out some of the liquid. Sometimes I think that liquid gets a little harsh if it's been cooked. So I'm going to do half fresh water, half of what's in here. So anyway, I'm going to have to do this in a couple batches, but uh... so here's what we're doing. Got this in the blender. Get back going for a bit. take a while so you gotta kinda stir it around in here. Anyway, that's kinda what the deal is. I gotta finish this batch and uh, have a little bit more left in this pot. So once I'm done straining this out, we can uh, pick it up then. So see you back in a little bit. Alright, so we got these peppers kinda strained down and this is kinda what you're left with the skins and seeds and everything from uh, from those peppers so we're going to dump those out so what we're left with is kind of this uh, little liquid there so we're going to come over here now have a little oil in this pot here we're going to do half oil half flour we're going to make a roux to thicken this up. So this is going to take a while. I'm going to wait till this gets kind of like a peanut butter brown. So I'm not going to have you guys sitting here waiting for that. Here's our meat that's been cooked with onions and everything. I'm about to uh, set this meat aside and actually get that in the refrigerator because we're actually going to stack these things tomorrow. But uh, this red sauce here You know, <coughs> dang, it's got some chili flavor in it. What we're going to do is we're going to add, and this is going to be to your taste, this is some chicken bouillon. And some cumin. I'm just going to start with that. And once this gets thick, I'm going to stir all this stuff up. Then I'm gonna taste it, and then we're gonna adjust our seasonings from there. We already have the we already have some onion in there, garlic in there. There's onions in the meat, and uh, anyway, we'll be finishing up the sauce here in a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna uh, store this overnight because we're gonna be uh, rolling these things tomorrow. Anyway, it is a little hot, which is why you're gonna see me coughing a little bit. <coughs> but uh, anyway, that's that. So we'll pick this up back up in a little bit. Come on over. This is going to be, this is the beginning of our enchilada sauce. This is kind of the consistency of like a, you know, maybe a little thicker than water. We have our roux over here. And when I kept saying peanut butter brown, I was thinking I was making some gumbo for some reason. So anyway, we want more of a cashew brown on this. So I'm going to add this in here to thicken it up I'm gonna just eyeball it here for a little bit see kinda how it's doing and it may take a little while for this to thicken up like actually it is thickening up right now so it's hard to tell exactly how thick it's gonna be but let me Good way to check. So I'm gonna want this to stay coated on the spoon, maybe a little bit more than that. So anyway, you're gonna want it to stick to this spoon. 
And I may have enough of that roux in there right now. So I'm going to go with this for a while. I'm going to let it, you know, go just under a simmer for a little bit and see how thick it gets. If it doesn't get thick enough, I'm going to add a little bit more to it until it gets to the consistency that I want it to be. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow we're going to, like, stuff these things and... If you have a chance to make these enchiladas the second day rather than the first day, it's a little bit easier because if the meat is in the refrigerator, it's going to be, first of all, easier to handle, and then you're going to be able to kind of mold it a little bit better. So that's part of the reason I'm doing it. The other reason is because I'm a little too lazy to do it tonight. So we're going to pick this up tomorrow. See you then. All right, so this is the next day. My enchilada sauce has been in the refrigerator overnight. Uh, the meat's been in the refrigerator overnight, and what the enchilada sauce looked like when it came out of the refrigerator was kind of thick like that. So I, went, I separated some of that out, then I heated up and thinned out. You know, that's just a little thicker than a gravy. But with this one, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna add some of this to this meat with some of this cheese. gonna mix some of that it doesn't have to be perfect on this this is just gonna go inside these enchiladas so I'm gonna take a tortilla you can use corn or you can use white as a matter of fact I prefer the corn but I had white I'm just going to fill up one of these. Same side down. Anyway, I'm going to finish rolling the other ones and get it in there. We'll see you back in a little bit right before we get it back in the oven. See you in a bit. So when we left, I had rolled up one of these enchiladas and I got a little ahead of myself. I am going to want to put a layer of sauce down before I get this in here. So now I got my layer of sauce. Now I'm going to get these enchiladas in seam side down. And I'm going to go with layer of cheese not too thick on that one then I'm going to come back and hit it with a little bit more of this sauce and I'm going to come back over with some more cheese I'm going to get this in the oven at 350. We should be good at uh, about 20 minutes on that. So we'll be back with the finished product. All right, everybody. So this is just got out of the oven. Look at how good that looks right there. Anyway, try this on your own. Don't go by that store about enchilada sauce. I hope I made the video, or I hope I made the uh, process of making that enchilada sauce easy enough for you, because that stuff tastes ten times better than anything you're gonna buy out of a jar, can, or whatever. And I probably made that probably took uh, forty cents to make, probably if I had to break it down. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Comment, subscribe, holler at your boy. See ya.